Hi everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to all, to all of you. So I changed my place uh, today because um, there was a celebration. I don't know what it was, um, but uh, not a wedding because we are in Ramadan. So in Ramadan, you cannot eat, drink, uh, do parties and not even have sex you know so so ramadan um is a is a muslim celebration which is um like the like easter for um is like easter for the christians and the jewish also in the same month same traditions so um, you're not supposed to eat and you are doing, you're supposed to do uh, the fasting and those things. I would try to begin by two or three comments that I would like to make very short. So the first thing that I wanted to say um, is about something that has been happening this past month, um, uh, which is that um, a few people, two or three persons, had come to uh, Egypt to try to find me, and to and they did it in a very invasive way, like uh, like asking or um, asking like like uh, I have to see you or or coming to my place and knocking my door, and and those things are really invasive, even if you are doing with all the love. Um, and I am very Capricorn in this. Besides, I'm here doing a planetary project, talking with all of you here in the screen. Um, this doesn't make doesn't give you the right of believing that I am here for everyone, for whatever you please. Um, I have my own life, I have my own space, and I am really Capricorn in this in this way. I am not open to see anybody unless I am asking for that. So, um, so sorry, but I am not going to be uh, open to receive anybody in that in those terms. Um, so I'm saying this. So you don't take a flight to Egypt uh, just like that. Um, and also regarding this this thing, um, I would like to remind you that if you come here because of um, of a projection, of course, that in a, in some way is my responsibility that you might have some projection on me because I'm here in the screen and 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 putting myself here in front of all of you. But when you ever had a projection with someone, first of all, you you always have to um, think about meditate. Um, ask yourself why I have this projection, from where it comes from, and so on. I am not speaking with anyone in other dimensions. I'm not speaking with anyone in their dreams. If I need to speak with someone, I will write through WhatsApp. This is the 21st century. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what I wanted to say. And uh, I wanted to clarify some uh, aspects that uh, comments that maybe is good to clarify for a lot of people, for all of you. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to clarify uh, for for everyone uh, due to a comment um, was that uh, someone asked um, why I'm speaking so much from the individual and not about the collective, which is so important. Um, also, that many things like integration, for example, not only happens in the self, but also happened in a network of group of people. Well, I would say to um, to all of you, maybe I didn't explain it very well in the in the blog, but I actually did explain how this happens in many fractals constantly, like from the atomic point of view until the society point of view. The, all the concepts are being equal. So I've been speaking about that and today I wrote about that. So I would recommend for you to read it again in order to see 
that uh, specific part. So on, on the other hand, also, this path is called the I am, not we are. So the reason why I'm speaking about the I am is because before we start to work with the groups of people, we have to acknowledge who we are as an individual, as oneself. So if I am an individual that acknowledge itself, so then I can be very easy to connect with the others much more faster. So um, that's basically, this is the path of the I am. So another concept that came from uh, kind of the, the same topic is about the, the, the idea of um, uh, competition that I was talking about. Um, the, um, there were some people that were saying that today there, there was a discovery in, in biology that the, most of the organisms doesn't compete, that they really cooperate. So I should, I should uh, explain better because, or, or, or to take in account that it's much more cooperation than, um, than competition. So what I want to say about this is that I actually was saying that. So cooperation comes from the word co and opera. That means to act, to do an, to do an action um, um, together, all together doing something. That's cooperation. Uh, and I was explaining that competition is to ask something together. So what I was trying to explain is how we misunderstood the concept of competition with ideology in the capitalism of being over the others, but the real concept of competition is about collaboration, is about, um, is about cooperation <laughs> uh, in between the different organisms. Um, so I was trying to explain that, and I guess that I did explain exactly that, but maybe uh, some people didn't uh, understood um, properly what I was trying to say. So another, another thing that, uh, another comment that I want to explain about a bit is, there was a comment that was uh, a bit impulsive, um, uh, focusing in the idea that maybe I'm not taking in account all the people that really are suffering or being uh, unprotected when I am asking the things like um, go out and expression, death or whatever. Um, maybe because I am a man, uh, the person said that, uh, maybe because I'm a man, I am not taking into account how difficult it is for others, I think uh, the person was suggesting women, um, to express or to do things uh, in, the, in, uh, in the outside, being this prote uh, without protection, maybe I have protection because of my sex, and that's why um, I feel much more free and comfortable. So I wanted to comment about this. So as a second thing, I would say that the concept of saying that I'm not taking count persons that are afraid or in problems when they express is actually very weird because the entire blog was about that. The entire blog was about how to push forward the people that is afraid of facing the cultures that are judging them. So um, maybe, maybe it's not the same way. Uh, maybe it's not only going out and screaming that you are able to do that. You have to find your own way. I was just sharing my way. I'm not saying that that's the way you have to do it. So just to clarify this, um, and the whole point is exactly to help people that feels unprotected by the society to be strong and to say, I am this, I have to express it even if I feel in this wrong environment. So, and the other thing uh, is about men. Me being men, maybe I don't take in count the people that suffer in the society. Well, I would like to remind you that yes, I'm a man, but I'm a homosexual in a Muslim country. So I grew up knowing what it is to have IoT pressing on you, you know? So, um, being scared of society, of being who you are, or acting what you are. So, kind of, um, I know that, okay? And um, in the other hand of this, 
remember that we are beings. If we start here to debate about if men or women is because we are not getting the thing. And of course, of course, that women are suffering much more in history than men. Yes, that's a fact, of course. But we should not put ourselves as victims. We should do stuff to move forward, not to set ourselves as the poor ones that are suffering because of this or that. So we have to just face the reality and start to do stuff in order to be valued. So I'm sorry, but these are kind of some topics that I guess they are good to repeat sometimes so we can, um, so we can do um, for the new people that are joining to, for them to know some of these clues. So sometimes, for example, some, some things that happened that, that then when, when they said you, you didn't face maybe difficult things because you are a man and you are, uh, you are protected and so on. Well, I would like to say that there are some stories that I never share because unless someone asks, I don't share it. But uh, I, I would love to remind you uh, that or to tell you that once I was meditating and, and, and some people kidnapped me. They were organ dealers in that region. So they kidnapped me and uh, because I was meditating. I had guns in my head, pointing, big guns in my head, and, and uh, I escaped. So it's a long and funny story. But anyway, <clears throat> it's not for today. But what I, what I wanted to say about this is I, too, felt unprotected and really in danger because I was meditating in the mountain. So, uh, so talking about this shadows and lights, we reached the point of integration. For you to have it as a registry here. <clears throat> so, um, integration comes from the words in, tangere, and action. In, meaning inside, of course. Tegre, meaning tegre, which is to touch. And also we will take the etymology tegre, which is to weave. And sion, which is action. So this would mean the action of being able to touch what is already manifested, what you can touch, manifest. Uh, but it's real now. Mm -hmm. So let's go to understand integration. So here we have the expression, which is from the pressure that we have within, it goes all outside. The pressure is setting free. So this expression reaches a point in which the same expression starts to observe itself like ice starts to observe itself from different points of views. So once this has been expressed, what happened is that the same expressions starts to experiment itself. And what is this? To be able to prove different ways of only one thing. We have only one thing inside and we start to watch inside to the core, hmm? observing only one thing as fr from many different points of view. So what happened here, after the individual has exper experimented each one of the points of view, they start to share their ideas of this point of view, manifesting something in the center, a new reality inside. So this one starts to share different ways of information. And each one of them starts to share different points of view, creating a new idea of what is inside. And that's what we call integration. And then, of course, we have the 
transcendence, which is to create new ones coming from the main one. Hmm? Transcendence, going from one spot to another spot. Now, what we have here is that we have spoken about the things that create um, a reality. So we have this shape here again. And remember that in order to manifest, to create something, we need vibration, energy, and matter. And of course, in order to download the spirit, to reconnect with the divine, we need the attributes of love, will, and wisdom. And all of them together creates in the center what we call the being. Hmm? So here we can see that all these attributes here are the ones that will determine the being. So the integration of certain types of vibration, energies and matter, of certain levels of will, love and wisdom will form what I call as myself. So the integration of these attributes is creating what I am. Hmm? Of course, that in different ways, in different levels, so each one, each being is unique. Hmm? Individual, unique and special. So what would be an integrated being? A being with integrity. A being with integrity would mean someone that had accomplished to have all of these attributes sharing one another and being used in harmony and coherence. So remember one thing, coherence. Coherence is equals action in these terms. Coherence is the action that we take in order to live our lives connecting love with wisdom with wisdom, the wisdom according to the will that we have, to live our lives physically according to our energy and our vibration. So coherence basically is to take action on how we do the relation between all these attributes. And integrity is describing what it is. So it's describing the subject of the action. Hmm? So integrity would be, what do I have in this connection? Not what I'm going to do with what I have. It's about to realize and discover what am I? What do I have within? So an, a person with integrity is the one that accepts all the links that has and lives accordingly, accordingly, accordingly to that. So of course that in order to be a person with integrity, we have to act with coherence. So, but in order to act with coherence, what I have to do is to acknowledge the things that integrate me. What do I have within? What are the tools that I count with in order to be coherent? So this is why the journey of a person that is looking for integration is to acknowledge the things that that person has inside, all the things that we don't know that are parts of ourselves. So this implies, how can I do that? So remember that we are a human being composed by vibrations, energy, and matter. And this means that through vibration, we are vibrating all the time and resounding, resonating with things or not. We can be in a high vibration or a low vibration, heavier or light. We can go faster, or slow. So vibration determines the way in which we live every day, with, we, with which things we connect, which brings us to polarity in the energy. How do we feel with that? The emotions that we perceive, positive and negative, the energy moving us through the connection with other people, with the links with the, with the, with the others. 
Mm -hmm. So the energy is also determining how do we live in our reality. And of course, the matter, which is the body, the DNA, the cells, the information that we hold from our history, all the things that we have from our ancestors. Mm -hmm. So that would be um, that would be all the codes that summarize what we are. Who am I now? So it doesn't matter if you go and take all the courses you want, all the ther all the, the you see all the documentaries you want, you look for all the books that you would possibly read. It doesn't matter if you do all that, you are not going to be coherent or integrated unless you know what you have within. So eventually, some moment, you will have to watch within to understand what are your parts. So all these things are the things that you and only you are able to discover. There's no medium, channel, person. Um, there is no master, uh, therapy, anyone or anything that can tell you exactly what you have. Those people can guide you, can lead you to find the answer, but no one can give you the answers of what you have here. So this is your own task, your own job as an individual. The same thing will happen with our attributes of the being, love, will, and wisdom. Love, will, and wisdom. So in one hand, we have the attribute of love related to the vibration, which is the one that will show me how do I feel the things, how do I perceive and resound with things. So we have all spectrums of love in which we can vibrate from the hatred, very low, and the unconditional love, very high. Hmm? So will is related with energy. If I am not willing to do stuff is because I don't have the energy to do stuff. So by acknowledging which wills do I have, in which things I put the will in my life, I would know where my energy is pointing at. So wisdom is related with matter because of course wisdom is the manifestation of the mind. So this would mean that I will be living my life according to my level of wisdom. This is a way in which we can identify the concepts, mostly. So in order to integrate, in order to integrate here, what we have to remember is that each one of these attributes, we have lived each one of them throughout our lives. We have lived different kind of wills in our life, different kind of energies, different kind of knowledge and wisdom, different vibrations and things with, with which we resound, um, different types of love. So we have been living different ways of these things. And the way in which we know if they are integrated or not is if we start to do like a list going backwards of all the things in which we have expressed or lived the will, our energy, our wisdom, our life and the matter, uh, the body, our love. And when we start to make a, like, a, like a list of each one of the six attributes throughout our lives or this life, what we start to acknowledge is in which things we are not still able to integrate and how do we do that? Because we will be moved by emotion. When, when you are moved by emotion, this means that the concept is still moving through the edges of the shape of who you are, and it's not integrated and stable in the center. This is the important thing of integration, which is to be able to know which things from the past are still moving ourselves, which things from the future, our projections are still moving from ourselves. 
and what others are still in the center, knowing that all the other things are part of myself, but they don't move me anymore. Hmm? You have the entire life to do this. This is not for today. This is a task for the entire life. This is something forever, all the time. So no rush. So of course that, um, well, today I give you a task. Uh, remember that I, I, I wrote in the post the task, as always, uh, in, the, in the post of every day. Um, and um, the, the idea of the task is just to make a tiny, um, tiny practice of how to connect um, the lines, the dots of your history, all creating you, integrated in you as oneself. Mm -hmm. So um, that's um, that's the, the task itself, is to try to, to think about the, the steps, the, the, um, the, um, <clears throat> to think about all the things that brought you here, all the things that made you be what you are, mm -hmm. and connect them plain to whatever you had in your reach. Once said this, let's go to the alignment. The vibration for today is here. The statement for, the statement for today is, for today is I am the designer of webs. The code for today is Africa. The earth has its chakras like our bodies and solar system. Its root chakra, origin of life, is Africa. It was the Pangaea's center, origin of most terrestrial species and above all, the human. The continent represents the base or fundamental stone where the forces of life originate. The necessary element, it's the pollen and nectar of the flower of terrestrial life, regulating it, regulating it through the Congo rainforest and the Sahara Desert. Let's go to the alignment. Respiramos profundamente. Sit comfortable, close your eyes and take a deep breath. I become aware of the space that surrounds me, the body I inhabit, and my own breathings. And I observe below my feet the light of the consciousness of my body in the shape of a divine spark. I breathe and ignite it. I rise up this spark to my feet in the shape of lakes. I recognize these two lakes as a source of life, the origin of two rivers, white and blue, going up. And in its flow, I set the intention to integrate all the paths that took me to where I am now. I breathe and ignite my feet. Donde ambos ríos se unen. I rise up this spark to my knees where both rivers unite. I recognize here the, 
the feminine and the masculine energies throughout the history that unite here to make me be what I am. And I set the intention to integrate all my history here and now. Breathe and ignite my knees. I ascend this energy to the root chakra, the main source of my vital energy. I observe the holy lake arising the energy of Kundalini in me. And I set the intention to integrate all the outer world in me. I breathe and ignite my root. I ascend this far to the creative center in the sacrum. I recognize here the creative power of the mother in me, with its lights and its darkness. And I set the intention to integrate all those things that I have created and realized in my life. I breathe and ignite the sacrum. I raise up the divine spark to the plexus initiating denial, denial within me. I recognize the temple of the body, of my personality within my plexus. Enlighten the inner Nile. And I set the intention to integrate all these relationships and attributes that I manifested in my life. I breathe and ignite the plexus. I ascend this divine spark to my heart. I recognize here the temples of life and love expanding to the world in service. And I set the intention to integrate all the emotions and feelings within me and breathe and ignite the heart. I ascend this divine spark to my throat chakra. And I contemplate in it the temple of the truth, the sun, irradiating its light, the twelfth rays of truth.
And I set the intention to integrate all the wisdom and knowledge of the world in me. All the truth. I breathe and ignite the throat. I ascend this, this divine spark to my third eye. And I observe in front of me the eyes of the Sphinx contemplating what I am. And I set the intention to integrate all the points of views and perceptions, perspectives of this world. <clears throat> I breathe and ignite my third eye. I ascend to this divine spark to my crown. I observe the crown opening like the delta, green, shiny, all surrounded by pyramids. And I set the intention to integrate all my beliefs and all the divinity of existence. I breathe and ignite my crown of pyramids. I become aware of this initiatic path within me integrating each step of it. Each path is a cord, a string in the network, in the web, that me, myself, I'm creating. I am the designer of the web. I am the designer of the web. I am the designer of the web. I am. I am. I am. Breathe and start to bring this consciousness through your body, massaging and stretching. One at its own time. Come back here and now. Nos vemos mañana a la misma hora. Thank you everybody for being another day here with me. And see you tomorrow at the same time.